special, man. Just, I feel like I'm so grateful just to be in this position. I mean, no matter what the outcome is, I'm so proud of this team from what we came to, from my freshman year being here, and then how this whole team, just this program has changed around, man. I see the hard work a lot of guys put in, a lot of, I see the hard work Coach o puts in by bringing new people in every day. Every time I come around, I drive by the facility, his, his truck is here and he's putting in work. So, man, I'm, it's, it means a lot, man, especially then being in our own backyard. Man, it's, gonna, it's a home game for us, especially at a, a critical game like this, it's gonna be special. You guys always talk about the next game, the next game. This is the game that you've wanted all year. How has it been this week? Um, the same, kind of like, I'm not trying to exaggerate it, but it's been literally the same way. We practice in the same way. If not anything, uh, we're getting even more and, and more focus on the small details. I mean, at the end of the day, this is the next game, and it's going to be our last game. So we're going to make it special. We're going to make it count. And this is really for – it's, it's bigger than us. It's bigger than the players. It's, bigger, it's for the state. It's for the, the program, the tradition itself, for the alum. So this, it's something that we got to bring home. We got to do, do it the right way. How hungry are you to face someone like Trevor Lawrence, especially with how you've played so well the past um. few games? Not really, not really personal or anything. Not, it don't give me a little extra motivation, but it's, it's a big game. It's a big stage, so I just want to play well, do whatever it takes for the team to win. What have you seen from their offense? I mean, obviously Trevor's kind of leading the show there, but as an entire group, what kind of makes them special with offense? I feel like they're good in all phases of the offense, from receiver to quarterback to running back. I mean, I used to didn't give the running back as much credit, but watching film and watching game, he's a very special back. I mean. He can hit creases and he, he his, his acceleration is here from 100 is amazing. And you got these big receivers who, who have great hands and they're not top, they're the top receivers in the country for a reason. And with a great quarterback who's putting the ball on the money. So, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great game, man. And I feel like it's probably one of the more complete offenses we'll see from from the category from receivers to quarterback to running back standpoint. So, it's something that we're gonna be up to the challenge to, and I'm I'm, I'm really I'm really excited for it. Um, I can't really say that. I mean, I mean, Utah State quarterback, I would say he's a great quarterback, but he kind of didn't have the pieces around him to make himself look as special as Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence has the pieces around him. So, I mean, I feel like you put Utah State quarterback in a scenario as his, he'd be looking as great as him. But, I mean, it's just a great quarterback we're going against. I mean, he's not he's the top player for a reason. So, I mean, it's something that we have to be aware of. You know, guys, we didn't win, win against great quarterbacks all year, so it's nothing new to us. But you got to pay attention to details and play our game. You mentioned Coach Joe putting the work in. What does it mean to this team? I mean, what, when you think about Coach Joe personally, what, what, is, what, is, what kind of feeling is there for the ball team? I'm, I'm extremely proud of Coach Joe. I mean, I don't, I feel like I don't tell him enough. I feel like he's not gonna really, <laughs> I don't feel like he's not gonna really understand when I tell him. But just knowing his background, man, from his old Miss and USC. And, I'm extremely proud of him. I mean, people didn't, people doubted him so much. And even when it came to getting his job, when he was an intern, they still didn't want him as a coach. And he's shutting everybody up. And he, the top, he turned his whole program around, man. And just, and people still, they still try to find negative ways in him. But now they just shutting up and they know that he's the real deal. And Coach O, no matter what it takes, he's going to do whatever it takes to get this team to win. Like, if I say, Coach O, I feel like we need such and such, he's going to go get it right then and there. It's like, whatever it takes for this team to win. And, he, and he's all about the team. He's all about winning. He's so player oriented. So, I mean, I'm, I'm very excited for him. I'm, he's a special man and, and it's everything that he deserves. And I'm, I'm really happy for him. This LSU defense has shown some success so far these last like four to five games. So what do you think it's going to take for the defense to keep that champion mindset against such a young talent as Hunter Dolphins? Come approach the game the same way we're doing every other game. Don't don't be too greedy. Don't try to make too big plays because it's a big stage. Everybody do their job. Everyone's getting healthier, so the full confidence within everybody on all eleven on the defense is the trust is getting there. So I feel like we just we just have to play our game. Don't try to be too special. I hope we, that the linebackers and defensive backs trust the D line that we're gonna get to the quarterback. We trust that the defensive backs are gonna not let anybody catch the ball. So if dude's gonna be short passes to where we still play play within the numbers and within the chains. We trust that the linebackers gonna run down every run and plug their gaps in the run hole. So it's just a trust within the defense and I'm excited for it and I feel like that's what's, that's just about the defense and the confidence that comes with it. We saw a very special moment on the sidelines in the Peach Bowl where you were talking to your defense, just making a big position play. You wear the number 18 for a reason. So what does that mean to you all season to have that title as number 18 and be a number 
not much. I mean, I don't really, like, like I said before, I mean, I don't really do it for the attention. I mean, the cameras caught me, but it's something I do every game. I try to talk to the team whenever stuff starts getting a little ugly or rough. I mean, it's not so more so far so much as me trying to be the bigger person, like the big dog of the defense, but. It's just uh, somebody, we always need to hear somebody within the air just like, like remind us the, pr the purpose of why we're here. So and I just want to let the defense know, like, bro, we, we're winning. Like, we're winning large, but don't make this a personal thing and getting kicked out of this game and not be able to play in one of the biggest games of our life, if not the biggest game of our life. So it's not worth it. These championship teams tend to have that special bond among the players, among the staff, and the coaches. How would you describe this team's bond to all your, your teammates, your brothers? I feel like we bonded well, man, just, just to think about it. And I was thinking, I was talking this the other day with uh, Coach Aranda, he was asking about it. He kind of he kind of sensed that the defense, well, when things started getting a little rough last game, the defense, we started like getting into it. I wouldn't say getting into it, but as far as like speaking to each other. And he kind of got worried, but I was like, Coach, that's the last thing you need to worry about. I feel like actually that's a good thing having on this defense. So we're comfortable enough to tell each other the problem. And we all know like that needs to be fixed. If a defensive back comes to me like, hey, I'm covering too long. That's my job, and I take that as a full responsibility. Like, man, I need to get back there faster so they don't have to deal with that. I mean, and I just trust that, I, like, we all bond with each other so well that we talk to each other and we have full faith that we all gonna do each other's job. And, and it's not really so much on the field and off the field. We hang out so much, we laugh, we play all day, and this is probably one of the most special things you'll see in a while.